everyone. Welcome to Colorful Pages. I hope you all are doing very well and wishing you all a very very happy new year. Now today's tutorial is a very very innovative tutorial. In this tutorial you are going to learn how to paint on an organza fabric. Now this painting which I am going to teach you is not done with the help of brush. Now this is done with the help of a 3D cone liner and outliner and very easy for those who want to make beautiful outfits for their own self but have problem in painting with brush. So this tutorial is specially designed for those people who want to have a twist in their artwork and make a dress for their own self in a very different and creative way. All the materials which I am going to use in making of this dress, I will introduce all that in the tutorial itself. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. This is the very beautiful, very fine uh, silver grey color of organza fabric, which is in front of you. You can see how see-through and extremely pretty color. This is not exactly a dark grey, but it it's a bit of silver touch in the grey. You may say it a steel grey type of colour. Now, the length which I have taken out is according to my own self. I have taken one corner of this cloth and I have taken out the centre for making the neck design over here of this kurta. I have taken out the centre of the fabric. Uh, nicely spread the fabric first. See. And you are seeing this edge. So you can understand which is the straight part and which is the turned over part of the fabric. So you can see from here the punches. If you will see the punches then this portion is see it will be the opposite side and this one is the smooth one so the smooth one the smooth side will be the front side generally people do get confused uh, when it is up to understanding which is the correct size side of the organza fabric so we'll just keep it like this you can see the center line over here this center line i have obtained by ironing it i just folded these two edges and kept it like this so this came the center, now I took a hot iron and I ironed it. So this became the crease. I will use this crease as the center line. So I don't have to struggle much to take out the center manually by uh, counting it uh, and dividing it into half. What I will do next is I am going to use this kind of tape. Now this is a very ordinary doctor's tape. So this tape, I will take out some portion of this tape and fix the organza onto my table with the help of the tape, like this. So in this way, this tape is going to save the organza from moving, slipping here and there because I need to trace the design. I don't want that the organza keeps on, you know, uh, shifting and slipping here and there and my design gets disturbed so just straighten your fabric nicely and tape it tape it onto the surface of the table table top so like this this is absolutely done so now i have with me is this beautiful design which i have sketched myself now this is a parchment paper on which i have uh, drawn this design and i have done uh, black outline so that it seems to be a bit darker for all of you to see nicely now i will trace this design on this organza for doing that there are two methods number one method is match this crease the crease of the fabric this one with the crease of your uh, folded parchment paper or the design like this and take such kind of uh, this is a white color carbon paper which you are seeing in front of you. So this is the opposite side and this is the front side. So what you can do is you can take out this carbon paper and you can keep underneath 
and simply with the help of a pencil you can trace the design when you will draw over draw your flowers and everything over here it will imprint on the cloth underneath but since you are seeing that organza is a see through fabric and maybe you don't get this kind of uh, carbon paper what is the simplest way to do it the simplest way to do tracing the pattern onto the fabric here is just slide it softly under the fabric see like this hmm? and in this way you will just adjust the design match the crease of the fabric with the crease of the cloth like this see and how easy it is everything is seen you can just overdraw it but before that take some cello tape and fix your design here so that when you are tracing it maybe with your hand it slips little here and there and that problem will not happen if you secure the design with the help of a cello tape see like this only two cello tape i have used here and see everything is easy now so simple so easy to be done now nothing you have to do just with the help of pencil you can draw the design onto the fabric and everything will be clear to you the design is going to nicely transfer onto the fabric see like so like this i have traced the entire design onto the fabric so let me remove this base pattern and show you how easy this process is actually see can you see the entire design traced beautifully simply easily onto the fabric without any worries you don't have to run here and there to find carbon paper or anything else to you know kind of trace your design onto the fabric so easy process this is now let us start the coloring we'll start now by putting this uh, fabric on the hoop this is the hoop this hoop i use for embroidery as well as for painting now there is a nut and screw here first because this fabric is really really very delicate so we have to be careful that we do not you know uh, unnecessarily stretch the fabric hard on this hoop we'll take out the cello tape from the table which we have attached also i will first do this net this area so that is why i have fixed the hoop in such a way that this area comes in the center now very smoothly swiftly you have to just tighten this hoop always remember that it should be very very loose it should never be tight because organza you can see is a very delicate fine fabric if you will stretch the hoop you will stretch the fabric this is going to tear apart it's going to damage the fabric so very softly do this important work now are the colors which i will be using here 
are these beautiful ones you can see all these shades which i am having in my hand this one is the gold if you will see this is the beautiful pearl metallic gold color which i am using this one and all these colors are here in front of you pearl green this one is white color white this is pearl pink and this one is yellow color so all these colors i will be using to create the pattern over here but i will start with this color that is the gold color the first thing which you need to do is that keep a rough cloth or a tissue paper in your hand when you are using these colors so just shake it well nicely so that the color sometimes you know it settles down on the base so if you shake it nicely the color is going to mix nicely in the bottle itself now open the lid like this and always remember this is very important thing that is the cap so as soon as you finish painting immediately put the cap here because it is hot here where i am living uh, the color will dry very very soon so if the color dries in this nozzle it will create a blockage so always as soon as you finish coloring quickly put on the cap now on the rough piece of paper or rough cloth first just try and see whether your color is moving freely or not so see in my case the color is not at all moving so just clear the color nozzle again check whether it is moving or not see now it seems to move nicely so it is ready to be used so keep this in your hand only because you will be needing it again and again to clear your nozzle like this so the first thing we are doing here is we are creating a replica of one embroidery now this embroidery which we are creating the replica of this embroidery is running stitch so like this just like hyphen hmm small hyphen you are creating on the fabric so decide on which line you want to do first that is uh, like you can start from the diagonal line from here okay then you can move towards this side so always remember that one line do one direction you have to do first never do this and this that is the horizontal and vertical together uh, i think i should start from here because i will have to move upwards and if i will start from upwards and i will come downwards my hand will be uh, stamping on the paint so i will start from down and gradually i will move towards the upper line so clear the nozzle slowly slowly so now this is very easy this color which you are seeing now looks like yellow but after it dries it's going to become gold before dry drying it looks when it is wet it looks like yellow you don't have to be scared about it after drying it is going to become gold color so like this first i will complete all the slanting line in this direction and i'll give it a break and then after it settles down a break means around 2 hours after this settles down then i will do the criss cross lines now this part is absolutely dry and you can see now it looks so much of gold isn't it pretty beautiful gold shade now let us start working on the flowers here for the flowers i have selected pink and yellow colors and i am going to start with this pink color uh, the color which i am using is the fairy quill 3d outliner and this is the pearl pink shade which i am using right now so you can see there is a nozzle here also i am keeping a box any box which you have at home just keep it so that 
uh, under the hoop so that your hoop is little inclined in position i don't want to keep it flat like this on the table because after i do the coloring the color is bit heavy and the fabric tends to uh, get the weight of the color and it sinks down so when it sinks down it touches the table and the color gets spoiled so that is why i use any box which you have at home just use it just to give it a little inclined position so that when you are coloring the the color when it sinks it does not touch the table uh, i am using this color a few things which you should know about the color is how to use it so there is when you are going to open this a kind of nozzle here now first of all take a rough tissue paper rough cloth anything which is there close to you and just press and see whether your nozzle is working fine or not so in my case this is working fine in case if the nozzle is not working fine never you can use this kind of uh, safety pin or any kind of pin but remember never put the pin like this from outside inside because this in this way the whole of this nozzle is going to get thicker wider and your color is going to come very thick always open it and from here put the pin and clear the nozzle so this is one thing which you need to always keep in mind when you are uh, using such kind of outliner just close the cap and i'm ready to use it uh, very very in easy easiest method i'm going to tell you uh, just keep a track on the flower so like this i'm dealing with this small flower right now the first see i am just pressing the nozzle and the color is coming out and zigzag like this zigzag direction i am using the strokes are this zigzag strokes and like this i am just filling the color randomly in the flower see zigzag just remember that this nozzle you are moving in a zigzag position and later we are going to do outline for now this is just randomly roughly filling the flower petal with the zigzag position so i've done this now alternate flowers i am going to do with the pink color so let me do the next flower after i finish doing this part i will do the flowers with the yellow color the same is this yellow color which i am using this is yellow same 3d outliner fairy quill company i am using and later on after everything dries we are going to do the outline but before that we have to do the filling work which you are seeing that i am doing in front of you so like this i'm going to do the filling work in the pink flowers i'm going to use this beautiful green color this is the pearl green color for the leaves and as i've shown you i will use the yellow color for the other flowers so let us do all that very quickly now I have just finished painting this area so this place is quite wet and I don't want to waste time I want to complete this area so I will just immediately start putting up beads over here now which beads I am using I am using these small tiny uh, white color beads and I will use this fairy quill fabric glue to paste them onto the fabric so like this a very very simple process i am sure everyone will understand this in few 
seconds just in the center of the shape you have to put the glue first like this in one go you can put two lines transparent so just like this very important thing which you need to remember is fix this nicely so just take a bead and very very easy this step is keep it on the glue like this and then you can press it pressing is very important it's really very important to press the bead so that the bead and the fabric and the glue are in close contact with each other you can press it with your finger you can use a pencil a pen or the back side of the tweezer to do so one thing also which i think you must have noticed i'll show you separately that this bead which i'm using the pearl is a half pearl see the top side is round whereas the back side is flat so this kind of bead is easy to stick there are some other kind of beads or pearls which are round in shape throughout but this is not throughout round you can see back is flat and front is round in shape so these kind of beads or pearls they stick nicely to the fabric so after placing it just press it up so this is all you have to do in this entire neck line also adds to the beauty of this suit you can see that i have added small of white pearls which give a very aesthetic look to the entire painting work and the same work i have done on my neck very easy very simple and yet very beautiful i am sure you are going to try making one such kind of dress for your own self but remember there are few things which you need to keep in mind while painting this kind of Uh, fabric work so what are these thing first thing is that this art work needs to be uh, treated very delicately so what is that about it is all about the maintenance of this uh, fabric how you are going to do that that means your washing and ironing so first when you have created this kind of painting on your organza fabric you need to take care that you should never wash it before 15 20 days wash it very urgently you need to wash it hand wash that too in cold water never ever use hot water to wash then after you have painted it at least after 2 days give it a reverse iron the iron should be mild it should not be too hot otherwise your cold liner is going to get spoiled another thing which you need to keep in mind while using this kind of cold liner 
onto your fabric is that when you are applying it onto your design, it should be very very closely in touch with the fabric. Otherwise, there will be air space between your uh, 3D foam liner and the fabric, and later on, this air space will not help the chemical reaction between the fabric and the foam liner. Thus, it will help in uh, spoiling. It is going to spoil your foam liner work. So you have to do this work very carefully. Your foam liner should be very nicely touching the design. All right. So these are two things which you always need to keep in mind while you are doing such kind of artwork. So do make some very creative and beautiful stuff like this for your own self. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Stay tuned for more creative videos. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Keep learning always.